you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, guys on the road, subscribers and followers. I read a book a long time ago about introverts being outcasts. Um, that a lot of society believes introverts like myself you know, don't, you know, we, we, well, let me explain what, what I feel like an introvert is. Someone who doesn't need a lot of people around them to make them happy. Non-sociable people. So, I, I read a book, and there are a large number of people, in, including, I think, um, most people uh, in the school systems, believe that introverts, like myself, have some sort of mental disorder. That, you know, humans are supposed to be social people, and so therefore, um, since we're not socializing, there must be something wrong with us. But in this book I read, it actually showed that introverts are just as important to society as social people. And to kind of explain this, um, introverts will take time, such as uh, Mark, uh, Einstein and Galileo, you know, uh, Stephen Hawking, all these really bright minds are considered introverts. But what they end up doing is they sit around thinking all the time. Um, and I, I know I, I called out some geniuses. I'm not saying I'm a genius. That's not what I'm saying at all. I just happen to call out three very well-known introverts. But what they end up doing is they think about things a lot. They just sit around and they kind of think and, then, and, and they have these ideas. And they sometimes act on these ideas and they make things and build things and and new inventions uh, that's the kind of people introverts are well now the sociable people take this idea and they they are able to go out and market these things and talk to people about these things and and spread the word and make these things popular and usable and um, so and I know I am butchering this book and I, I wish I could even tell you the name of the book. I don't remember. I'm sure everybody's going to ask me, what's the name of the book? I, I don't remember. I'm just kind of... So, but both of them are required to, 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 to make things happen. Look at the phone that I'm talking to right now. You know, it was built by an introvert. Uh, but then it became marketable and, you know, it was produced and all this other stuff by the more sociable people so and the reason I bring this up is last night well first let me tell you about a story we were getting water from a spring um, and here's the picture of the spring we were getting water from it and we'd been waiting our turn for over an hour and a half just sitting in the, in the, in the truck waiting and you know playing on the phone or doing whatever we were doing waiting for our turn because there was probably a dozen people there and they were filling their bottles of water. Well, it was my turn, so I backed the truck in just like everybody else had done. And all of a sudden, these two people walked up with their bottles right behind us, squeezed their way in between our truck, and kind of pushed us out of the way. And I said, excuse me, uh, it's our turn. And then, you know, there's another person right behind us. That, it's his turn next. And this guy looked at me and says, you're an a-hole. I was just taken back. I couldn't understand why. Well, of course, you know, I'm getting flustered. I said, sir, you know, that, that guy's waiting. He's been waiting, you know, an hour and a half. I've been waiting an hour and a half. And he said, well, that's fine. I'll just go get him. So he walks off and he goes and gets the guy that was waiting. And he brings him up. And, and, and the whole time, the woman is cussing me out, telling me how crazy I am. And, and uh, of course, I'm angry. But I got to thinking about it, and I'm thinking, well, what, what's next? Are we going to share the bathroom together? You know, how, how is two people going to share this water coming out of a pipe? 
at the same time, I, I, it didn't make any sense to me. But as I was leaving, she said, this is a public place. You should treat it as such. So in her mind, I guess, her definition of is public is to be sociable, to gather around the watering hole, and we all talk and have a great time while we're filling our bottles. That's the only thing I could think that this person was thinking, and why I was an a-hole, because I wanted to fill my bottles by myself, because I'd waited in turn. Well, the reason I even make this video is because last night, something very interesting had happened. I have been, we were parked in a location uh, for about a week. And here I'm going to show you some video of, of what happened uh, here just in a second. So, all of a sudden last night, people started trying to pack their vehicles in around us all around the water spigot and I just could not figure it out so I'm going to show you this video and then I'll come right back to you so as I've just told you we had to move locations and there is our new spot I'll do a little walk around here I know that I'm still trying to get the hang of this walk around so my face doesn't get in the picture and then my truck's not in the picture and I'm trying to do this pointy thing. But anyway, so this is our new camping spot. And we had to move. At least I felt like we had to move. Caroline and I felt like we had to move. Because last night, uh, we all of a sudden got packed around. I mean, and I don't even know how they got some of these trailers in here. That's how packed they are. So, I, uh, we were parked, we were parked right here. Now imagine the back of our trailer comes to about here, right here. Okay. So these trailers had to come in around me to get in because there's no there, there's no path to get in. They had to come in and back in and push in. And anyway, so their vehicles were parked in in the center here where this fire ring is. And we were using that fire ring, but we had to move. So they all and then of course they had the generators running and and their uh, you know kids were running around. Now over here is the water faucet, you know the water spigot. And they, they, they've hooked up their hoses to the water spigot. And they've kind of made a, a patio around it. So they've kind of taken ownership around this little area. Well, I mean, that, that obviously just crowded us. So I didn't even lower the canopy. I just uh, pushed in the front bunk in and slowly drove to a cross over here. It's a little bit more private. And it really did cut down on the uh, generator noise. So anyway, I'll take you back to uh, uh, my conversation. So of course, you know, we moved as, as I showed you in the video, but here's the thing. I, I, I was trying to understand why would somebody see that, that they were coming in and they were just basically parking right on top of us. And I'm not complaining. That's not what I'm doing. Yes, I was very upset at the moment and I, I just could not figure out why anybody thought it was acceptable to literally park their vehicle right behind our camper. I mean, we would not have been able to walk around our camper without walking around his truck to get to the camper. So immediately I just thought, well, these people are, you know, jerks. Why would anybody do this? They know they were parked here, so they just, they, you know, they're trying to be mean. They're trying to, to upset me. That's what they're trying to do. Well, then after I calmed down and I started talking to Carolyn about it, she says, no, I, I know people like that. My ex used to hang around with people like that. And they believe that everybody should just enjoy the party. And uh, she says one time in a similar situation, uh, her boyfriend was asked to move a camper. Uh, long story. But she says, well, 
what happened? And, and so the guy said, well, I, I want to park in my normal spot, the one I'm always in that, you know, at. And she asked the guy, well, what happens if there's somebody there already? Well, he can join the party. So I got to thinking about that. These guys didn't see me as an introvert. They saw me as a social person, like they do everybody, because everybody's supposed to be social. That's just the way it's supposed to be. And so when they parked around me, they probably just thought, oh, well, he can join the party. What he didn't realize is I didn't want to join the party. You know, I made a video a while back about going to the RTR. And uh, I tried to explain that I didn't want to go because I'm an introvert. I would prefer to be out here all by myself than go to be even around, you know, there's five trailers over there. I don't want to be around five trailers, much less 500 or 1,000. Uh, so, but there was some uh, feedback suggesting that I was really missing out. That I really needed to go because it was a great opportunity for me. You know, I would grow my YouTube channel. It would do this, it would do that. Um, no. To me, it's not a great opportunity. It's not a great opportunity at all. The only thing it is to me is aggravating and frustrating. And it would get my dander up. And, and, and why would anybody want me to go and get upset? So... Uh, the reason I bring this up, because a good uh, subscriber of mine, he comments all the time, his name's Jerry, suggested maybe that only introverts could actually come out here and really enjoy what it is that we're doing, which is, you know, out here in the national forest all by ourselves. Um, I don't know if that's true. Could be true. I'm not disputing it at all. Um, but it would make sense that if you're a social person, this may not be the environment. So uh, make sure that you are aware that if you're a social person and need to be around people, the National Forest is not the place to be. Not unless you're going to bring all your friends with you like these guys did. Um, and, and recognize that there are two kinds of people. There are social people and there are people who are not. And the people who are not, uh, I feel like, are treated, well, I mean, like the book said, we are treated like we're not all there, that there's something wrong with us. Um, when in our actuality, there's nothing wrong with us. It's just what nature decided to do and said, hey, we've got to have somebody to make things. We've got to have somebody to sell the things, I guess. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to pass that on. So... Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.